Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will try to learn about RS485. How we can use the RS485 BD with Threatic PLC and Vintage Catchamai. But before start this video, please like, share and subscribe my channel. This way you will be never miss my upcoming videos. So let's get started. First of all, I will show you one picture of uh, this PLC which is I am using this PLC this model FPS 40 MAR 2 AC and this BD we are using for RS485 which is installed on the uh, front of the PLC this cover we will open and after this BD we can install inside and after we can use this is plus terminals and this is minus terminal this plus terminal and min minus terminal we will use with the HMI. So I show you one HMI also my picture. This you can see this HMI I am using this Vintic HMI this model MT8071 IP and this is the port of COM1 port RS232 you can use and COM2 port you can use RS485. This first number pin and second number pin. First number pin is minus voltage and this is uh, second pin is the plus voltage to the PLC of the BD this one. This minus this you can use first one and the second one you can use this one plus one. And uh, after we will go to open this uh, our AZ Builder Pro and here I will tell you how we can this configure RS485 system go to the simply this home and here you will go system parameters system parameters when you like to go here is to you choose your HMI which is your model and click it ok this is I am using MT807 IP and this FATEC PLC also make it go to then settings and simply you can choose it here RS485 if here is RS232, this will be use COM1. Simply this setting, if you choose it here COM1 for example and click it OK. After here will be RS232. Also you can use USB type, Ethernet type and RS485 4 wire also RS485 2 wire. I am using this RS485 2 wire. So select this just only this RS485 but before here clip you have to be must make, make in setting and here COM2 choose because of COM2 is the RS485 to wire and click it OK and here will be automatically show RS485 to wire control and then click it OK and your connection will be successfully with RS485. Each terminals already I show you in the pictures. In this pictures you can see this is the R45 this first one. And the second one just only two wires you can connect your HMI with your PLC and this is the first first number and this is the second number this two wire just here sorry this one here this one this first one is black minus and the second one is plus and this just two wires you will be choose and your connection will be completed. And here if, if you like to make some any program small for example I will make it in the PLC M5 for example and we will make it the on for example this is Y0 of our PLC output and click it ok and also if you like to see your temperature in previous video already I explained about how to temperature we can use in the PLC. If you not see my this video, you go to the previous video, you can see this the temperature control. This Y0 we will make and I will update in the HMI. Here we will go in the HMI and here you can choose this one. This is the set word and here you have to be choose set bit for example. This is toggle button M5. Already this address I selected and click it OK. And anywhere you can place any button. Here you can put any 
lamp for example this address you will put this y0 and click it ok and you can put anywhere you can choose and if you see this also numeric data so you go to this uh, numeric entry and here you have to be give the address of your temperature or whatever you using this one cross check this one d100 d100 so you have to be choose the address here d100 d100 and your temperature will be shown at the hmi and this address i will be complete program download to the hmi wait for a second this will be, if you, this check mark if you make it this one it's automatically using current setting to download after compiling if not this is check mark you have to be manually click on the automatically and click it on exit upon all finished now our program is successfully download and now i open my vnc viewer and also i will show you my hmi double click on the hmi and click it and give the password six time one 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 and click it ok and our hmi is now ok and our program is also running you can see as per this is our temperature also running and this is our button and our indication is running in previous lecture this temperature already i you explained how to use the temperature configuration see when i give a little heat this will be increased see now it's 28 now 29 and 30. i hope guys you will be understand about how we can use this one two wire control with rs485 connection with between hmi and plc i hope you understand about this session if not understand anything send me the message in comment section i will give you feedback as soon as possible so thanks for watching allah hafiz